Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So here you've got a spherical balloon here. You're going to pump air into this balloon here. As you pump air into there, the radius will get bigger and bigger. So uh, the, the, the amount of air that you're pumping in is, uh, is 6 centimeters cubed per second. So as you pump air into here, the balloon will get bigger and bigger, meaning the radius will get bigger and bigger. So when, when the balloon gets to a radius of 10 centimeters, uh, what is the rate of increase of the radius? So basically we want to know dr by dt when the radius gets to, uh, to 10 centimeters. Okay. So this here will be, uh, dv by dt. Okay. This is the amount of uh, air that you're pumping into the, into the balloon. This is what we want to know. dr by dt, the, the rate at which the radius is increasing. Okay. So press pause and, um, and have a go. Okay, so to do this, start with your with your uh, volume equals this thing here, and and try and understand what's going on because as you're pumping air air into this balloon here, the uh, the radius is increasing. So over time, r uh, the radius is a function of t. So over time, the radius does depend on on uh, on time. So um, so so r is a function of time. And then also look look at look at the volume here. As you're pumping air into here over a period of time, um, the the volume does well. The volume depends on on the time. So so the volume is a function of time. So bear the, bear this in mind when you when you when you use implicit differentiation here. So the next step, uh, start with our start with our formula here. Use implicit differentiation. So uh, so differentiate this. That will then give you because because uh, v is a function of time remember we are differentiating this with respect to time so um so because v is a function of time we do need to stick dv by dt in here and then differentiate this as normal and uh, and bear in mind that the the radius is a function of time so when you diff so so when you differentiate the radius you do need to stick this dr by dt in here and and this here is what we want to know um, this here was given to us from the start. That's this six here. That's the uh, that's a change in the volume over over a period of time. So well, d uh, dv by dt uh, w was given to us as six. So we can put this six into this dv by dt. That will then give us this. Okay. This four r is this four r here. Uh, sorry, four pi is this four pi here. Um, dr by dt is what, what we want to know. This is what we want to know. And r, well, at, at, um, at that precise moment in time when the radius is 10, so, um, we want to know the, uh, the increase in the radius at this specific time here, at, at when, when the radius equals 10. Okay. Because, because we want to know the, uh, dr by dt at that precise moment in time. Uh, when when the radius is 10, we can put this 10 into here. Okay, that will then give us a, a hundred, and then uh, and then now from here, you just need to rearrange it to uh, define dr by dt. So rearrange it, blah blah blah. Dr by dt is given by this. So jump to a calculator, and then that equates to this. So what that means is that dr by dt equals this. Um, so so what that means is that when the when a sphere gets to a radius of 10 centimeters um dr by dt is this thing here meaning um the radius is growing by by uh, by this amount per second by this amount uh centimeters per second okay